This place is so cool, I cannot get over how many hummingbirds there are here. This is like more than I've ever seen in my life. Southeastern Arizona is one of the top destinations in the United States for observing beautiful and rare hummingbird species. Today, my friend Nathaniel and I, along with local Arizona birder Chris, are visiting a few of the best spots to experience these incredible birds. Our first stop is Ash Canyon Bird Sanctuary, which was once the home of Mary Jo, a passionate local birder who transformed her garden into a remarkable hummingbird feeding station. Mary Jo generously welcomed birders into her home to witness rare species and enjoyed talking with them. After her unexpected passing in 2019, her friends and family worked to preserve her legacy, which culminated in the Southeastern Arizona Bird Observatory owning and managing the sanctuary, allowing others to enjoy the haven that Mary Jo created. Ash Canyon is one of the most accessible places in the United States to see the incredible Lucifer hummingbird, which is one of our target species along with a rare plain cap starthroat that had been visiting the sanctuary. While I drove us to the canyon, Chris gave us a preview. All right, so we are on our way right now to Ash Canyon, and it's a great place for a lot of really interesting birds, including hummingbirds. Today we're going to try to look for the plain cap starthroat and the Lucifer hummingbird. And everyone gets their life for Lucifer hummingbird at Ash Canyon, or a lot of people do. And this place has a special memory to it because I saw my first Lucifer hummingbird uh, with the owner at the time, Mary Jo, who just recently passed away a couple of years ago. And she put her house out for a company to come in and take over. And today it's now a sanctuary for people and birders to go see all the amazing birds down here and uh, outside of Sierra Vista. We arrived at the canyon, which has a suggested $10 donation per person for access, which helps to keep the sanctuary stocked. I was immediately struck by how beautiful the area was, and just how many hummingbirds were fluttering about on the property. It really is hummingbird heaven out here. There are so many feeders. So many hummingbirds moving all over the place, zooming around, and we're looking for our star throat and our Lucifer hummingbirds here. But I mean, how could you not be happy just sitting and listening and looking at all the colorful little birds flying around? We took in the beauty and the experience, keeping an eye out for our two target birds. Eventually, we got eyes on one of them, a male Lucifer hummingbird with its distinctive hooked bill and purple throat. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Wow. The Lucifer hummingbird is known for its curved bill and purple throat, which is seen only in males. The name Lucifer, which means light bearing in Latin, is likely a reference to the glare seen off the purple throat. Females are green, orange, and white. Lucifer hummingbirds can be found in Mexico and select areas of the United States during the summer, normally in drier habitats, such as canyons in Arizona. They are part of the sheer-tailed hummingbirds, which possess narrow tails that are deeply forked. Lucifer hummingbirds feed mostly on nectar and insects. Ash Canyon is one of the most reliable places to see these unique birds in the United States. We were able to see the Lucifer hummingbird. That thing has an incredible throat. The males have the purple. We've seen either the same individual twice or two different birds. Now we're just waiting on the star throat. We think we've seen it flying through, but we're waiting for it to perch so we can actually get a good view of it. We also had some other cool stuff in here like ladderback woodpecker, we've been enjoying the broad-billed hummingbirds, it's been a cooper's hawk chasing everything through, curb-billed thrasher. So there's a lot to look at even if our target bird's not necessarily in our line of sight. We continued picking through the hummingbirds on the property, keeping an eye out for the star throat. Even though we were waiting for a second target bird, there were always interesting species to see. Eventually, a particularly large hummingbird shot into view and perched. It was indeed the plain cap starthroat. 
The plain-capped starthroat is a large hummingbird, normally found in arid areas where it feeds on nectar and insects. Males and females look similar, with a long straight bill, striped face, and white patch above their rump. Males have a red gorget, but it often appears dark and less seen in just the right lighting. They are a member of the mountain gem hummingbirds, and their range is mostly in Mexico. However, they sometimes move into Arizona during the breeding season. Awesome views. It's great. What was that, hour 45, two hours? I think so. Worth it. Worth it, totally worth it. It was worth it. Got some really, really nice views of the star throat. Definitely worth the wait. We were probably there for about two hours, but eventually it sat up and gave us some really awesome views. And we accumulated like a big group of people over there to watch for it, and everyone got nice looks. So that's always great. And I think we're gonna head out to our next location, but this was a great stop with some awesome birds that we were able to pick up. This place is so cool. I cannot get over how many hummingbirds there are here. This is like more than I've ever seen in my life. Great stop here at Ash Canyon. Now we're headed to Miller Canyon to look for another cool hummingbird species. So Chris was saying the roads can be a little dicey there, so we're gonna go slow. Making sure we're staying cool, taking a break in the car, rehydrating, trying to take advantage of that shade um, and enjoying the beautiful birds here. So hopefully we'll continue our good luck that we've had earlier in the day. We headed to our next stop, Beattie's Guest Ranch at Miller Canyon to look for a rare white-eared hummingbird. This area is 5,800 feet up in the Huachuca Mountains and apparently holds the one-day hummingbird species diversity record at 14 species. We climbed up an elevation, parked and paid our small entry fee, and headed to the hummingbird feeders, which have bleachers for viewing, making it feel like somewhat of a sporting event. A tour group also joined the party on the bleachers, and the amount of hummingbirds and diversity of species was incredible. It didn't take too long for our target bird to pop into view, coming into the feeders briefly before zooming away. The white-eared hummingbird is a compact, medium-sized hummingbird normally found in Mexico and into Central America, often seen in high elevation forests. They sometimes stray into Arizona, and show up at hummingbird feeding stations. Both sexes have red at the base of their bill, with white ear markings and an emerald green back. Males have a blue and purple iridescent head and gorget that often appears black, while females have a lighter throat. White-eared hummingbirds feed on nectar and insects. There's a huge tour group that showed up, so we kind of came in first, got a quick view, and then uh, we all saw with everybody here, the white eared. And then there's been Violet Crown, tons of other stuff around. We got some awesome views. Um, our group just left, so we're just kind of hanging out, looking at uh, some of the hummingbirds that are still around. There's like stadium bleachers. It's really set up nice for viewing. Today. We got every hummingbird, yes. It's amazing. This was an incredible slam dunk day in southeastern Arizona. We did great. Did we do great? We did amazing. After completing our rare hummingbird quest, some dark clouds rolled over the canyon, and Chris advised us to head down, as we didn't want to get caught up in a torrential downpour on gravel and mud roads. You can get stuck, right Chris? You can get stuck, and it's not something you want to do, especially on Miller Canyon Road. Don't do it. If you see clouds, you see rain, you see dark clouds, get off the mountain. Overall, we had an amazing time birding Ash Canyon and Miller Canyon, seeing an insane amount of hummingbirds, including our rarities. I would highly recommend these locations if you're in the area. Make sure to check online for what days they're open to maximize your time and experience there. What's your favorite hummingbird species? 
let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Look at this guy drinking water, staying hydrated. What brand is that? You have to do like a commercial. Clover Valley. Nathaniel, sell me that water. The best water you've ever tasted while looking at plain capped star throats.